Hello everyone, I'm Alp. And I'm Harris, and welcome to the Imperial College Aeronautics Departmental. Hey, and welcome to the boss space. This is a collaborative area with both MechEng and CivEng, as well as the Aero Department. It's a great place to get work done, as we have lots of tables so that you can work in your groups. We also have the meeting rooms as well, which is great for group meetings. Um, we have a kitchen over there where you can heat up any food from home. It's also a great place to grab a bite and talk to friends as well. This is Skempton 164, your primary lecture theatre for first and second years. It has a capacity of 160 students holding full class lectures. It also has plug sockets at every seat for charging your iPads and laptops. There are pr two projector screens at the front of the lecture, ensuring that everyone has a good view at every seat. All lectures are also recorded, which may be required for later viewing. Welcome to CAGB 300, the main lecture theatre in years three and four. There's a capacity of 150 and it hosts full class core modules, as well as a number of optional modules in the final two years. Similar to SCEM 164, there are two projectors, two whiteboards, a visualizer and facility for recording every lecture. This is the undergraduate common room. We have a social area with sofas of, of capacity about 40 people. People come here to hang out, maybe play some board games. There's a work area at the back with 23 computers. It's a bit more relaxed environment than the library. Uh, people also come here to eat food. They either get food from the campus outlets or they bring their own food from home and use the two microwaves to heat it up. This is the aeronautic student workshop with a wide range of hand and machine tools. Undergraduate students use this room throughout their course for labs, design build test projects and extracurricular activities. Some of the activities done in this room include the materials lab and wind turbine projects in first year, the structures buckling lab in second year, the duocopter control lab and wing banding labs in third year. Some of the st student societies who use this room include the Imperial College Aerial Vehicle Society or ICAV and the Imperial College London Rocketry Team or ICLR. ICAV uses this room to build their unmanned airplane to compete in the IMECI UAS challenge. This is the tech suite made up of more advanced manufacturing equipment such as 3D printers, laser cutters and an automated fibre layout machine. The room is used by both undergraduates and postgraduates for a range of projects and societies. Beside me you can see the first year design build test exercise wind turbine blades which were manufactured using the 3D printers in this room. FDM printers build a model by heating and depositing thermoplastic filament. The printers we have range in build size, capacity and material selection. Welcome to Roderick Hill. It houses many of the wind tunnels, including one of the largest in Europe, the 10x5. Many of the labs within Aero are held here, such as the pipe flow and flow visualization lab in year one, and flows over cylinder and natural frequency characterization in year two. In year three, the structural testing of a flat bracket takes place here, which you'll design in the aerospace vehicle design course. We have a number of high-speed wind tunnel facilities at Imperial, uh, including a supersonic and a hypersonic wind tunnel. So our hypersonic tunnel can test up to Mach 9, and our supersonic wind tunnel tests at Mach numbers, so that's the speed over the speed of sound in air, of around Mach 1 to Mach 4. So the old tunnel, which we've been using in previous years for labs, and that's used by our third year undergraduate students. And we're also building a new supersonic wind tunnel, which is the one that's behind me, and that will be used in the future, both for undergraduate student projects and also for research in the department. Hi, my name's Camille and I'm fourth year undergrad here at Imperial studying aeronautics, and these are our wind tunnels. This is T1 and on the other side is T2. These low speed wind tunnels are used in experimental aerodynamic research and in teaching for years one and two labs. In year one, you use these tunnels to test the wind turbine blades created in the design build test exercise. In second year, the wind tunnels are used for the aerofoil profile drag and weight momentum deficit lab. The maximum speed of T1 is 42 meters per second and the maximum speed of T2 is 50 meters per second. They're also used in final year projects extensively as well as in PhD research. This is the Department of Aeronautics Flight Simulator room. There are two static and one full motion flight simulators, all using the x software. First and second year students uh, use this room for the flight dynamics labs and you can do more specialized projects in here during your later years of study. In addition, some societies such as the Pilot Society use this room for training. In addition to all the rooms we've seen so far, final year undergraduate students 
masters and PhD students have access to a set of cutting edge research laboratories, such as the Aerial Robotics Lab, the Dynamic Fracture and Forming Lab, and the Space Research Laboratory.